Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me get some clothes, okay? So, YouTube, it's your girl Shay here, and I am here to give you all the tea on how me and Baby K's day went. First of all, this is Key Ori. Key. Oh, so sleepy. This is Key Ori. Um. She was born today, y'all, and I swear to God, like, it, all everything that I experienced today was so, so worth it. If I could, I would do it all over again. Maybe no time soon, but if I could, I would, okay? Um, first of all, okay, so I want to say thank you to everybody on here who comes to support me um especially who's been supporting me like from the beginning of my pregnancy when i first told y'all that i was pregnant um to now um y'all don't understand how that you know is is really important to me because people don't really do that you get what i'm saying especially not in these days and in, in this age um in our generation um so I just really appreciate everybody that came and checked on me, um, you know, by leaving your little comments, you know, it just makes me, it just lets me know that, you know, I'm not just talking to myself, somebody's listening. So, this is Kiori, she was born today, well, yesterday, technically, October the 12th, 2015 at 1.50 in the afternoon um so i'm just gonna spill the tea on how my whole day went okay so and i'm gonna keep it a hundred like i always do okay it's just more light up here so that's why i'm holding the phone like this um okay so my day started i had to be here at 6 45 um a.m um so I had my bags packed. I had my baby bag packed. We got here, and as soon as we got here, they started up an IV. I changed my clothes, um, and then they checked my cervix. Um, at that time, I was three centimeters dilated, um, and at the same time, my doctor stripped my membranes. Okay, which means that when he checked my cervix. There are some kind of like membranes around the cervix once it begins to open um, that are there. And so what he did was he stripped them like with his finger. He just cleared them out. And what that does is it softens the cervix um, to make your body start producing um, contractions from a hormone called oxytocin. Okay. So when he did that, I started contracting, but my contractions were bearable okay and that's important that we're bearable trust me it's important um so what i said contraction is bearable okay so then you know i was three centimeters at the time um my labor progressed really quickly um i went from three to six to eight and to 10 um from my i labored from 7 when i got there around 7 30 to 1 50 when she was born and so it for for my first baby it was she made good timing real good timing if you ask me she got here like in good good timing so after he stripped my membranes, start contracting, and the worst part about my labor was my contractions. It was it was not pushing. I I promise y'all, it was not pushing. Matter of fact, when it was, I t I called the daughter in the room and I said, "Look, I'm ready to push. I can't I can't hold her anymore. I'm ready to push." And he came in there, checked me. I had no no more. I was 100 percent effaced. Well, she was and there was no more cervix it, i mean of course you still have a cervix but everything the cervix was 
a hundred percent that lady. I was at a full ten um, when I called him in there, and he was like, "Well, if you want to push, just push." You know. Oh, so before that though, you know, I got induced, and I I did not feel him when he broke my water. I just felt because that was one of my biggest like fears, like thinking about that thing that they stick up there, you know, and but break your water. No, I didn't feel a thing. He broke my water. Um, well, and before he broke my water, he put a catheter in my vagina, y'all. And then, now that I don't want. But he had to um, make sure there was no urine in my bladder. Um, sorry, make sure there was no urine in my bladder. He um, straight capped me. Got all of the urine out. That hurt it. Um, and then he brought my water. It was nice and warm, fluids coming out, was no big, loud pop. It wasn't dramatic. It was just, you know, it, my, my service was dilated, so it popped like, like so easy. Um, and after he broke my water, he left for like 15 minutes and that's when I called him and I told him I was ready to push. So I pushed y'all. I it felt so good to push. Like that's the best thing I could have ever done, I swear, was push. Um the hardest part was the contractions. You know, the Pitocin like made my contractions come frequent and hard understand me when I say frequent and hard and it was it was terrible it was terrible um but I kept myself grounded by thinking about how you know I asked God to help me I asked God to strengthen me to give me peace of mind he did all of those things and so I just took deep breaths in and and long deep you know long breaths out um, and that, and kept my mind on, like, the Lord, for real. I'm so serious. That is, that is how I made it through. And if y'all, I'm telling you, y'all gotta develop that relationship, because God will help you. Like, I never imagined that I would, like, be able to put, look at her. Look at my baby. And her blowing spit bubbles for being so rude. So, um... The hardest part about it was my contractions. It was not, yeah, it was my labor. It wasn't the delivery because I was ready to push. I pushed her out, and the hardest part about pushing her out wasn't hard at all, you know. I curled my body around her like they told me to do. Like, put your, I put my chin to my chest, curled my body around, and I just pushed, okay? Um, and, like I, and the hardest part about pushing was at the very end, when uh because i ripped i tore in two places but they were not big tears whatsoever they were very very minor only problem was that they were bleeding so you know he he typically wouldn't have had to give me stitches but he did he gave me the dissolvable ones and um stitched me up he numbed me first that did that was uncomfortable because they have to stick you with a needle wherever it is in that in that area to numb you before they can sew you but once he got you know it, it wasn't a very big tear they weren't very big tears whatsoever and so he stitched me i have the stitches in i don't feel them when i first went to go pee like my very first pee that i took the very first pee that i took afterwards um it kind of burned, of course, because there's a tear there. But I peed like three times after that, and I'm fine. They totally take care of you. They give you all the stuff that you need. Numb your vagina. I got ice packs down there. I got witch hazel and all kind of stuff that's supposed to help you with, like, hemorrhoids. I didn't get no hemorrhoids, but that, I'm telling you, all that stuff worked, y'all. They check my belly after I feed her. And what you, and what you do, what I had to learn... She latched really good, but, um, hold on, y'all, this right here is probably these little bubbles. She was just choking not too long ago, so I had to start my last video all the way over, so I decided to just hold her for a few. Um, so, 
Um, yeah. Well, I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't know what After I pee a couple times. Yeah, they take real good care of you. Keep that thing numb. Total natural delivery. I had no epidural. I don't. I didn't need one. I mean, I withstood the pain. And I had back labor. That's what my issue was. I had back labor, which is the worst. Okay? Wasn't really in my front. I was contracting up there, yeah. But my back labor was the most painful. So, that's just my experience with the whole labor thing. Um, and, of course, baby came out. Um, 150. She was 4 pounds, 14 ounces. Um, and 17 inches long. I mean... She's so tiny. So before they let us go tomorrow, um, they're going to do a couple tests um, on her. Check her heart. Um, and her lungs breathing. Girl, stop blowing with these little bubbles. Little spit bubbles. Um, I am exclusively breastfeeding. Um, I haven't pumped yet because I want to exclusively breastfeed. You know, that has so many benefits. Um, and, you know, no formula whatsoever. I encourage y'all if you're pregnant um, or if you just want to research. Y'all better research that breastfeeding versus that pump. I mean, and that, I mean versus that formula, I'm telling you. That's what y'all want to do. I, I'm not giving her any formula whatsoever strictly breast and she latched really good um nipple was kind of sore but you know practice makes perfect so um that was the best today i swear was the best day of my life um it's my little honey is here i i actually pushed out of him y'all like a real person here she go that's so cute <laughs> and she got no cry baby that's what i really love about her She's, she's just everything so um hopefully we get discharged within the next two days um what else i need to tell y'all anything if y'all have any questions let me know because i'm gonna tell you exactly how everything went i promise just ask me um so it's like going on one o'clock right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a nap i was sleeping while she was sleeping but she start um gagging off of her saliva them bubbles that she going so um i'm just holding up for a little bit but i'm getting ready to put her back in the bed because i don't want her to spoil yet um rate comment and subscribe and ask me all the questions you want to ask me if you if you care to know um but thank y'all for real for all of the feedback and you know support that y'all give me um it's so 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 appreciated i swear